Hi everyone, I'm Jackie Blisson. Welcome to my wine series. People are always asking me why white wine or why red wine gives them headaches. They almost always have a theory about it and that theory is often wrong. So I'm here to debunk a few myths and give you a couple facts to help you avoid the dreaded wine headache. So let's start with sulfites. Sulfites are the number one reason given to me by most wine headache sufferers. Sulfites are a natural byproduct of fermentation. Sulfur is also added to a lot of wines after fermentation because it's a very effective preservative against oxidation and spoilage. It's also added to many, many, many processed foods. Think fruit juices, flavored yogurts, seasonings, mustard. In fact, dried fruit can contain five times the amount of sulfur legally allowed in wine. Health professionals generally now agree that sulfites do not cause headaches. So what is causing your headaches? Well, there are a few culprits, the number one being alcohol. Many types of headaches are caused by dehydration. Alcohol is a diuretic, which basically means it makes you pee more. The loss of fluid causes us to become dehydrated. Ugh, there's a couple very simple steps to help you stop feeling like this the day after drinking wine. Number one, drink moderately. Number two, choose lower alcohol wines. Number three, avoid sweeter wine styles. Apparently, the combination of alcohol and sugar will dehydrate the body even faster. Number four, drink lots of water. I tend to drink as much water as wine in a sitting. Santé. Number five, never drink on an empty stomach. Eating and drinking will dilute the alcohol in your system, helping you process it better. Another possible cause of wine headaches are histamines. Histamines are compounds found on grape skins. These same chemicals are released by the body during an allergic reaction. Red wines tend to have a higher concentration of histamines because they ferment on their skins, unlike white wines. So if red wines make your head throb, histamines might be the problem. Why is this? Because some people lack sufficient amounts of the enzyme in the small intestine that breaks down histamines. Alcohol is also thought to inhibit the action of this enzyme. Too much histamine in the blood can dilate blood vessels and cause headaches. If you think that histamine might be your problem, try taking a histamine blocker before you take a glass of wine. Obviously, this is not a good long-term solution. Lastly, tannins. Tannins are also naturally occurring compounds or plant chemicals found on the grape's skin, its stem, and its seeds. It's also, like histamines, more present in red wine. Tannins have been found to release serotonin into the brain. At low levels, serotonin gives us a sense of well-being, of satisfaction, but at higher levels, it can cause headaches in some people. If you get a sense that your headaches come more with this style of wine, try switching to white wines or lower tannin red wines like Pinot Noir, Gamay, or Grenache. If you're trying a new wine, start with a small amount, wait 20 minutes or so to see if there's an effect if you're getting a headache, and if you're not, continue with moderation. Thanks so much for joining me. If you like this video, consider subscribing so you catch all of my weekly wine series. And until next week, santé!